Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is does data table row exist? So this is our node. If we run our example, I get back the word dagger in the top left. What we're using this for is checking to see if inside of our data table, the actual row name or the row exists before we actually do anything with it. We want to just early out basically or do nothing if it doesn't. So looking at the node, which you can see here, it's pretty simple. It takes in a data table and it takes in a row name. If you don't have valid information in either one of these, it's going to return back a false because it's not going to find anything. So false is the default value. Or even if you have something in here but still no valid row name, in this case none, you're going to give back false. Now looking through my data table, we can see I have three row names here, each with their own name. And I've hooked it up where I've made a literal name called dagger, and I'm pulling that into my row name, checking to see if it exists. In this case, if it returns back true, and then I'm grabbing that actual row out of my data table to make sure I can process the data appropriately. And that's why we get back dagger. Now if I changed it, let's say for example, dagger one, or let's go with long sword. And we're gonna play, we get could not find item. It's a name, it's not case sensitive, so uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter, but it does need to match. This long sword literal name here has a space in it, whereas my data table does not have a space. And that's it. That is the basics of the does data table row exist node. We use it for validation. We want to make sure we have a valid row before we process the data in it. That way we're not wasting processing power. Or maybe if you just want to check and see if it exists as a safety mechanism.